Hi, welcome by the presentation of the Elector FPGA extension board. This board is an extension board for the FPGA module, our Elector FPGA module 120.099. This board was designed by students from a German university who wanted more sensors to use with the FPGA. On the board, uh, you will find a pressure sensor here, a color sensor here, it's very small, SMD, a temperature sensor, an NTC resistor, a GPS module, four switches, an LCD without a backlight, four LEDs, user LEDs, a rotary encoder, and an uh, ADC here, which is connected in part to the sensors here, but the remaining inputs are available on this connector. Then on this connector, uh, so a couple of uh, general purpose input-output pins are brought out. So you can connect something here. Then here we have the power supply. It's powered from 3 volts 3. Uh, the FPGA board, the board itself is from 5 volts. So we have a double power supply. And a very little prototyping area is available. So you can solder some uh, parts on it. The software they wrote uh, has a menu structure and uses the four buttons. So this is the welcome screen. And this arrow in the right indicates that you have to press this button to continue. So let's do that. Okay, we now get a menu, GPS, and two arrows, left and right, GPS and ADC. When you press OK, you will enter the menu. Now we are in the ADC menu, where we can uh, visualize the values of the eight channels. The ADC has eight channels. It's K3, K4. This is the color sensors. B, uh, the R is red, the B is blue, and the J, the G uh, is uh, green. And then we have the pressure sensor, sensor and the temperature sensor. When you press the REF button, the, val the value is displayed. So the temperature is now a 7A, it's a hexadecimal value. It's not converted to degrees, it just shows that it's uh, working. This is uh, a correct value. For the pressure, we get a value of hexadecimal D4, which is about, uh, I don't know, 1000 uh, millibar. The color sensor, 6 for green, 3 for red, and 3 for blue, shows that our light is quite white, but not very strong. Actually, this sensor is not so sensitive, you need a, a good, strong light source to uh, make it react. To leave the ADC menu, you press the up button, and then you come back to the main menu, and then you can go to the GPS menu. This is the GPS menu. You have an onboard GPS here, but on this connector you can also connect an external GPS. In that case, you should not mount the onboard GPS. And in the GPS menu, we can try you have to this gps is a particular gps you have to switch it on or off it is already on because you can see these leds here leds uh, blinking okay so we can see we have no satellites no latitude no longitude no altitude but we have utc the reason that i'm not receiving anything is that i am not in the right place to capture gps satellites uh, the software for the uh, FPGA is on the SD card. You can program the module by connecting a USB cable to the board. And then the board will be seen by the PC as a virtual flash drive. And you can copy the program from the PC directly on the SD card. Then you reset the board and it will um, execute the software. The reset button is here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and I wish you a lot of uh, fun with this uh, board and the experiments you can do with it.